What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and this is the Ram One Railroad. Here we got Maverick hooked up to all those coal cars. They are empty now. I emptied them all out here at the Ironworks, which we finally got over there in the distance. We're gonna go around the loop here because I completed the loop. Zoom out a little bit. Reverse it forward. Let's go break off and give it everything. So as you can see, we got our little connection. And I ran this one down just a little ways. It ends right there, right before that hill. I also did a Y at this end, which we'll see here in just a second. We'll go Thunder and Past here. I had it backed up because I actually tested every bit of this track that I laid down. Had a couple little accidents, little issues with it. Nothing I couldn't fix, obviously. And now it's all it's all pretty good. I also logged out that split. And I ran the track down it. It ends right there. Little Y right there. And it Y's in right here next to the docks. It's kind of a hard curve, but I was able to take Maverick in this train full speed around it. And everything seemed to work out all right. All right, so we're gonna take this little cut off here. We'll go regulator off because I need to go flip this switch seems to be a little bit closer. I'll go full break right there. Okay, full break. <laughs> And jump off and whoa! Uh -oh. Jump off and grab the switch. All right, we got that all done. Let's get back on board here. Break off. Let's head to the Mountain Valley Rail Yard, where we'll take these empty coal hoppers off. We'll swing by the freight depot and pick up more. Bring them back down here and deliver them here to the iron mine. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to take all the products that we have for the iron mine, or the uh, iron works rather, and deliver them. Finally, we're running some trains. All right, we're coming into the yard here. Let's see, I think I have it set up. We're going to go into this first lane off to the right side here. Hopefully. And we'll drive it all the way down to the end. This is where we'll disconnect it. So I said before, like, uh, this will be all the inbound stuff and the freight depot will be all the outbound. But I think if we just split it right down the middle, this over here will be going this way, going north. And this will be going, these three lanes over here will be going south. Probably loaded with product, unloaded with product. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's that uh, refined oil or whatever that we're going to be getting from the refinery that'll go up here to sell at the freight depot, but I can't imagine us actually bringing it here to store. We just take it over there and sell it. So, all right, we'll stop it right about here. Set some brakes. Come up here and pull the pin, and then we will head to the freight depot to pick up the rest of these cars. And I think we can take them all, all of them that we have. All right, we'll go uh, break off. Reverser is already forward. Let's go. Uh-oh, let's not go. Let's not go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh that's close. <laughs> oh, that's close. Okay, let's see. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> we're not okay there, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, okay. You know, it wouldn't be an episode without some derailing from time to time. Let's see, can I rerail it on here? Oh, I gotta click it. I thought I clicked it. There we go. Probably doesn't like me re-railing on a switch. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Wow. It's doing some crazy things. No, nope, we want to turn around. There we go. Alright. <laughs> good thing there's no damage modeled yet. I wish there was, though, because I think that'd be just adding another dynamic to this game that would make it awesome. So, actually, let's see here. Can we do it right here? I think we don't have enough room. Yeah, we gotta go back here, probably on the main line. We reel the tender. That's alright. We'll get it hooked up. Yeah, right there. Turn around. No, really. Turn around. That is not turned around. There we go. Alright, we'll set the brake. Put the link in there. There we go. Alright. Burn that brake off right before I forget. Reverse her forward. Now we should be right. <laughs> All right. Off to the freight depot. All right, we're coming into the freight depot here. We're going to go into the inbound side of the freight depot where I got all the coal cars kind of stacked up. We do have to put the train together a little bit. So I think there's two of them, two of four if I remember correctly. So we'll come in here, we'll back up to the first one, get hooked up, back up to the second one. I could use um, a little switching locomotive uh, Ultra that's parked over here in his house to do it, but this is just one little simple switch up. So not a big deal. We'll take care of it with uh, Maverick here and we can just get out real fast. So we'll drive past them all and I will back down and hook up to this one here first. Bang. Then breaks off. Come over here to this train. Put a pin and a link in. We'll back down that lane. All right, we're coming into the second train of four cars. We'll connect up to it. Oop, there we go. Turn off these brakes and we'll get out of here. All right, here we go. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars of coal. Last one was seven. This is one more. So Maverick didn't have any issue at all pulling seven. We're starting off really slow here. That is just a my FPS. <laughs> We're both I'm getting 21, 20 frames per second, which is garbage. I might need to get a new computer soon. We'll be taking this train. I'm undecided if we should uh, break it up or try to pull it down there as one big long train. I don't know, I might hook up to hook up to it with Maverick here and just see if he can do it by himself. It's all flat, so I know I remember I was able to move it with Maverick down at the smelter station when we had the clear switches and stuff, but actually traveling down the track at speed, I don't know if Maverick is enough. I don't know. <laughs> I'm tempted to try it just to see if it'll do it. <laughs> And I'm also considering purchasing a new locomotive. We might do that today. I want to kind of break up the map into like zones and duties. So Maverick will be responsible for basically everything here south. With a little bit of overlap. You know, you might be able to go up to the sawmill or something like that to get the lumber for 
ironworks. And for the uh, refinery, I be believe the refinery needs lumber too. And Beast it will be responsible for everything south of here, like down at the smelter station and, and all that stuff, with some overlap. I'm thinking about getting a new locomotive that'll run like logs and maybe the, the wood products down to the smelter and maybe to here or something like that. I mean, we obviously can't drive more than one locomotive at a time. I'd love to do multiplayer, but that is not yet possible on my server. And Starlink, of course, with the Ukraine thing going on, we probably got pushed back another year. So who knows if I'll ever get better internet for the time being. No, I'm stuck paying a whole lot of money for very crappy internet service. But it is what it is. It's the trade-off I get for living out in the country and having lots of property in a very nice, big, beautiful house. So I'm not complaining too much. All right, going through the mountain valley here, we'll just continue on uh, heading on down to the ironworks. All right, we're coming in here to the ironworks. We got our load of coal here, eight cars in total. That's 80. And I was starting to think, I don't remember, is it a thousand? And we already have 70 there. So we got a lot of coal to bring, but for a second there I thought uh, we could only hold a hundred coal, which this would put us over that. But no, it's a, it's a thousand. I remember it being a thousand. We need to start sawing way down here. Coming in hot. Start breaking pretty hard. We're gonna overshoot it. We're gonna overshoot it. Just a little bit. It's okay, we can always back up. Right there is probably good. Probably a little bit farther back than we really need, but let's go ahead and save it real quick. Let's see our money. I talked about it last time, I didn't show it. So there we go. We got $24,464. And like I said, that's what uh, grinding will get you. I mean, we can afford just about anything we want right now. Locomotives, cars, anything we need. So. We'll get this train unloaded and see what it, it changed to. Our, our money. We haven't been purchasing anything. And doing all that grinding, all the delivery, it really, uh, really fills the coffers pretty quick, actually. We'll scoot up to the next three. That one is empty, right? Okay. <laughs> Make sure we stopped at the right one. <laughs> all right. Then we just got these two to the offload. As soon as these are all done. Coal has been delivered. That is all the coal that we brought. And that seemed like it was a lot of work <laughs> to get these, the, all this coal here. I, I thought I was extremely wealthy. All right, so let's check out what we got now for money. $25,664. So we're doing pretty well on, on finances here. So let's take this train back to the Mountain Valley Rail Yard and We'll consider bringing down the uh, raw iron. All right, so I got Maverick hooked up here to the uh, super train, mega train, whatever you want to call it with this raw iron on board. But pulling it with just Maverick is a violation of all my rules. So while it might be fun and it might be able to do it, we're gonna go grab Beast over here and we're gonna stay semi-realistic. So Beast is over here in his train house. We'll hook him onto the front. I just moved this train back using Maverick a little bit to clear the line. We'll get him, get Beast hooked up to it and we'll pull that entire train down there in one shot. Yeah, just doing, I was thinking about it on the way up here is like, that's just kind of wrong. Let's let's do it right. We, we always have time to do it right. So, and this almost lines up. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> cool. So yeah, Beast is right inside here. 
I just parked him here right before starting recording. So he should be actually barely warmed up. I'll grab a little bit of wood here. Flip this switch. We'll bring up this tow bar. Like so. All right. Let's make sure that Maverick's got fire in him now. Got plenty now. Check beast. It's got plenty. Okay, so we'll open up our extension tool here. Oh, make this a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to see here. Click here, open controls, synchronize. All right, and we are moving. So we need to get in here. Set brakes. <laughs> I don't think we're quite ready to leave yet. I need to set the switches. Make sure we're gonna get there. So that's all correct. We're gonna leave right out of here. That is correct. Come down here, we have flip that switch. That's where I parked the other train, coal hopper train. So this one right there needs to be flipped. Zoom out, come down here. This one needs to be flipped. We're gonna come along in here and offload in this area. All right, let's do this. Break off, reverse or forward. This time let's go 100% on that regulator. This would be wheels slipping like crazy. <laughs> Mega train heading out. See, in the upper right-hand corner there, it doesn't like this. <laughs> my, my FPS is suffering pretty bad. And I hear my, my uh, graphics card down there just screaming. Though I do have all the doors and windows closed up in my, my office right now. It's probably not getting the greatest ventilation. All right, this is probably really stupid. But I want to go ride in the other locomotive for a little bit. So let's head over here. All right. We got over here. No problem. <laughs> just want to check the controls. Yep. Make sure that our regulator and reverser is all in the right way. This is so cool. I'm driving it from the, the rear train sitting back here. <laughs> Let's do something really, fo really foolish, shall we? Let's be a brake man for a minute. It's not like I'm staying in one spot. When I jump, I actually lose ground. <laughs> this is such a long train. I forgot how many cars are here. Something like 29 cars or something like that. I remember it was an odd number. But, uh... Wow, by the time we get to the back of the train, the locomotives are going to be at the ironworks. This is a super long train. 
Should have put a caboose on the end. Oh well. <laughs> See it going around the bend way up there. All right, we should probably start heading back. <laughs> I, I wasn't joking when I said the locomotives are going to get there. <laughs> it's not that far away. This is a lot of raw iron. Uh, let's see if we can get up there to that front locomotive. Here we go. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I'm running. <laughs> I'm losing ground. Okay. Get back. Uh-oh. Get back on board this one. See if I can shut down the regulator. Slow us down a little bit. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to open this controls. Shut off the regulator. There we go. Now I can run up there. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. <laughs> I'm running. There we go. Might be able to coast the rest of the way in. We'll see here. We're going to do the rolling offload because trying to move this mini stop and go would just be a nightmare and I'll be here all day. So we're going to slow down a little bit here. We just want to be barely moving because it's going to pick up speed as we get lighter. So speed up just a little bit. All right, right there. All right, now I'll hop out. We're going super slow intentionally. Hopefully we won't pick up too much speed. And we'll start, oh, what's our 25,664. We'll check it again after we offload all of this raw iron. Here we go. One, two, three. Just like that. We only fit a hundred on here. Hopefully, uh, can fit them all. Of course, that's math, and I don't do math. <laughs> simple, simple arithmetic, and me seem to struggle. I mean, I I consider myself fairly intelligent. <laughs> I'm not an engineer or anything like that. But um, when it comes to math, I don't know what it is. I understand it. I can do it. Just not very well in my head. Thank God for calculators. <laughs> As you see here now we're picking up a lot of good speed. It's um I'm kind of watching to see how how far down the the way they go. We got we can go pretty fast actually. There's only 3 of these things to offload at once. We can go the entire length of this this uh dock right here before we hit the coal side. And then it won't unload it for us. Last car right here. Here we go. Last little bit. It's 87. Wow. Let's run over here and catch these locomotives. It should be right here. Yeah, there, there they are. We have to stop them because that switch needs to be flipped. You can see just how fast we're going now. And that was around a corner. We'll go ahead and apply the brakes, run up here and hit the switch. All right, let's see what we got here now, total-wise. We need to bring in a bunch of lumber. 50 lumber, actually not a bunch. 
it's hardly anything. <laughs> so we got 87 out of 100 of raw iron. Here's the back of our train. And we have 150 out of 1,000 full. So how much money did that give us? $27,839. And just quick math, I think we had 25000 Now we have 27000 So a little bit over... Three thousand dollars for that one train. That's that's a that's pretty good right there. Three thousand, two thousand. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. All right, <laughs> let's head in to let's see while we have this hooked up here. Let's pull this train into. We're gonna take the longest train that we have and pull it into the shortest lane that we have because that makes sense for me. <laughs> and that's going to be this guy right there. So we'll go ahead and flip that switch. And we'll pull it in. And if it doesn't fit, which I guarantee it won't. There we go. Well, it might. Uh, then we'll just break it up, and I'll do that later. So we'll go break off. Regu full regulator. We'll pull this big long train to the Mountain Valley Rail Yard. Alright, here we come pulling in. I think all those switches are correct. They look like it. Looks like the back of the train is just now getting off the main line. So it might just barely fit. We'll have to come to a stop here like right now. Alright. Let's see. We'll run back here to the back, take a look, see how far we're hanging off. And it looks like we're just barely hanging off. And that's not a big deal. We're going to leave it just like that. That's not a very good practice, but there's something else I want to do in this, this episode, and that's, I kind of hinted at it when we first started. I'd like to buy another locomotive. So let's head on over to, we'll bring the locomotives uh, over back over to the freight depot, and we'll purchase old number four. I had to go back and set all the brakes on these on this train because I forgot. As, as I was doing it, I was thinking that these cars right here are the backbone of the uh, whole railroad. They haul so much and do so much for us. They've been all over this map, pretty much everywhere you can possibly go. Uh, minus the, I don't think I'm dragging them to the logging camp, but, but everywhere else they've been. I can't say that for all the rest of the cars. So these are definitely the car to have and to use. Not that we really have a, much of a choice on it, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's break off, get going here. We should just have the two locomotives. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost sent it down the line without me. <laughs> but now I got to try and get up front there. We'll run. Oh, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Oh, and I'm sure the switches are all wrong, too. Uh-oh. It's going really fast. I can, There we go. Turn that off. Turn the brake on. 
Let's let Beast drag us. Uh, I still can't do it. All right. I screwed up. Uh-oh. <laughs> I screwed up. I got to use this tool. Uh-oh. Where the hell? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Where are we? Come on. Keep up with me. There it is. Open controls. Rever turn that off. There we go. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm not sure. That's going to go down that lane. I'm running. The brakes are on on Maverick still. Beast is just so strong. <laughs> All right, we'll clear the line here. I'm sure that's good enough. Let's go ahead and set the brakes. I'll clean this up later. Let's go buy a new locomotive. All right, we're over here at the purchasing area. Let's go in here and look at our new locomotive. Oops. It's the, can't use the arrow keys. Gotta use these ones. So I was thinking, let's buy this one. There we go. Number, this is gonna be number four. The name of it, thought about this for a little while and I kinda like the Old West themed names. You know, we got like Maverick and, but we also have some kind of funner names like uh, Ultra or Beast. So. I'm thinking that this one, because it's not very strong, <laughs> it's not, but it's pretty fast. So I'm thinking it's going to get stronger with the update, especially when they uncap the speed restrictions. This one's going to be super quick. So I'm thinking lightning. Ramblin' Railroad. There we go. We got options. Okay. $2,900. That's probably about what we just made with that mega train. So order. Boom. There it is. See how much money we have now. $24,900. So we'll uh, get some fire in this thing. And as we're waiting for it to warm up, we'll talk about its role. God, that's just a beautiful locomotive. Now you can barely see that. Lightning. That's spelled right, right? <laughs> it's so cool. Just an awesome detail. So, Lightning's role in the Ramblin' Railroad will obviously be the flat track. We're gonna take advantage of its speed, and we're gonna use it to do like the wood products. It's going to be responsible for delivering wood uh, to the sawmill from the logging camp. It's going to be responsible for bringing cordwood down to the smelter, I'm thinking. It can't do very many card cordwood cars up the hill. I think it can only do like eight or something like that. Uh, empty. Uh, the 12 logging cars that we have, according to the calculator, cannot pull a 3% uh, empty. And we do have a 3% hill to get them up there. So we're going to try it with a run at the hill, I guess, for lack of a better term. So, yeah, that's going to be its role. So Maverick is a, is a cook mogul and it's all black and everything and, and it looks good but it's it looks more industrial and this one here and that's that's like great for like run down to the the smelter or to the ironworks hauling coal you know getting all dirty you know that sort of thing but this one here is nice and clean with all these brass finishings and you know good paint job and wood cabin and all that kind of stuff so it's gonna be our wood hauler until we get passengers if we ever do get passengers and if we do it's gonna be a passenger train so but for now I think that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll catch you on the next one. We're going to get some wood down there to the ironworks, and then we're going to expand over to the oil field. All right, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye for now.